In isolated cases, after a long standstill, strong smoke emissions may occur upon first start of 915 IS series aircraft engines. This might be caused by seepage of oil from the oil tank into the turbocharger oil sump due to insufficient sealing. With this in mind, Rotax has issued a service bulletin mandating the replacement of turbocharger oil pump housing on 915 IS series aircraft engines. A new oil pump housing now available incorporates an additional oil pump shaft seal to avoid oil seeping into the turbocharger while the engine's not in use. Engines requiring oil pump housing replacement are listed in Service Bulletin Section 1.1 Applicability. If an engine is affected by serial number, consult the engine's logbook or maintenance documents to establish if this service bulletin has already been accomplished. Engines with serial numbers higher than those listed already have the new oil pump housing installed during production. New oil pump housings have a part number of 812193. Affected engines must have their original turbocharger oil pump housing exchanged following the 915 IS series heavy maintenance manual. When installing the new oil pump housing, ensure that the oil pump shaft seal is correctly placed with the seal's open side facing inwards. Rotax has made available a parts kit, part number 481550, which includes replacement oil pump housing and all seals, o-rings and gaskets required for its exchange. This parts kit also includes replacement sealing gaskets required to perform 915 IS turbocharger inspection. Once the oil system has been reconnected following the 915 IS series heavy maintenance manual, perform a purging or ventilation of the oil system following the 915 IS series installation manual. During this maintenance work, residual oil may accumulate in the turbocharger or muffler. Any residual oil will be burnt off by the exhaust gases at the first engine start. This may cause a brief puff of smoke from the exhaust, but will quickly clear. Perform an engine test run and check for any oil leaks. After successful test run, the engine can be returned to service with a log entry stating compliance with this service bulletin. The oil pump housing exchange must be performed by a Rotax approved distributor or service center or by an approved IRMT with current heavy maintenance rating. If the work is performed by a service center or IRMT, parts and flat rate labor credit are covered by Rotax. Contact your local Rotax authorized distributor or their service center for parts availability and labor credit application. You can find more videos by visiting the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax. Yeah.